Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how you can make a flat screen. Alright, so the first thing you need to do is either get yourself some magnet frames or the keychain frame. Okay, so basically you have two parts to this. And then they snap together with the frame behind it. Okay, and the magnet, you don't have to worry about cutting it off. If you get the keychain, you have to cut this end off and then you have to sand it. Then what you need is a lid to a bottle that's kind of flat and has that shape that a TV stand would have. Okay, so if you're gonna hang it on the wall, you can just get some two-sided tape and put it on the wall just like this. Then you have a flat screen TV. Or if you want to have a stand, you put everything together. Now, the image I just got out of a paper, but I'm sure you could probably print one off of the internet. You know, snap it in there. And then there you have your television. I spray painted this as well. Um, you don't have to, but you can. Now, as far as the base goes, you can use whatever base you want for the bottom, but having something that is kind of like a shape, like a TV, makes it look more realistic. Okay? Now, you want to get yourself some kind of something that's flat but round and if you don't have that then you can take a straw or a tube and you can heat it up and then take your pliers and go in there like that and then press it down okay so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on this and I wanted to overseed it And then I'm going to place it right down in the middle and it's going to go up inside and it's going to come out on the front of it. I want to let that dry for a minute. Once it's dry, then we can move on. Okay, so basically that's going to give you like your little handle here. For this to help glue it to it all right now what you want to do is you want to put some more glue on this but on the front face of it and then you want to do a little line of glue going across the bottom center your tv press that into there And then hold it down until it cools. Once it's completely dry, you can either paint the back and have it all solid since you're really not going to see it. Or you can print out some images of the back of a TV and glue them to it. And then paint that. But there is your TV and it sits. Now as far as the remote goes, you could take some um, foam board and do that, but the problem is, is like it just breaks up really, really easy. You know, and you could do clay as well, but what I found is to find an image that is on the internet and then just print it out in a um, I don't know, like a contact sheet form. Usually you get like 40 of them to one sheet. And then this had five remotes on it. So I printed it out and I glued it to a stirring stick. Just use some stick glue.
Now it does work best when you have a black one because you can go over it with the black much better. Just use my three in one multi cut tool. Trim up the edges. You take a little bit off at a time so you make sure you have it accurate. Okay, and because I don't have the black remote, I'm going to kind of make this one transition to be black. And it'll look like one of those ones with a sticker on it. Take that Sharpie and just kind of go right over it. Kind of put this on there a little crooked. But you get the idea. You can put some Mod Podge gloss on this when you're done to kind of preserve everything in place. But there you would have a remote. That one's not as nice as this one. And I also angled the corners on this one just by snipping off the edge. This is just one contact square. So you can see how small it prints out when you print it out as a contact. show you one more time so I can show you how I angled the edge on that remote. So this is the same exact one as that. So that's why I'm going to go ahead and print it on here. I left a little bit at the top because I don't want to come down into the remote. And I just take the multi-cut tool and I just cut the corners off. Just like that. And so it all blends together. Make sure you guys can see that. I know it's kind of far away.
Now you can also sand your edges. And then there you have another remote. And you can round the bottom corners as well. Still a little wet. These are very, very tiny. Um, they're about an inch by about a quarter of an inch. So it works out pretty good for um, the dollhouse TV. And again, I just took an image and printed it. You can get one out of the newspaper, I'm sure. Some of your circulars, whatever, have them. I'm pretty certain you'll find them pretty much anywhere. Okay, and then there it is that. And then that's all it is to it, to make in little smart TVs with remotes. All right. Thanks a lot. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I will see you next time. Like, subscribe, leave a question, suggestion, or comment below. And if you want to see more, click that bell to be notified. And all right. Thanks a lot. Have a wonderful day.